Hello and welcome to Brett's Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking and I'm not a vegetarian but I'm actually cooking a vegetarian meal today. It's just how it worked out and a uh, warning you should probably be 21 years or older to use this cooking recipe because we're not going to be using one bottle of wine but two. Now the reason I limit myself to two bottles of wine is because I'm shooting this on a Monday and we get wild on the weekends. For starters, we're gonna be doing some stove top cooking. So we gotta take our pan. Um, we've done the spectacularly smart thing of buying a pan like this one without actually getting a lid for it. So we're gonna have to do the next best thing which is use a lid for a different pan. So that's, that's just a technique some of you can use. If you don't have a lid, use a different lid. And this one, you know, it fits well enough with the food in there, it'll hold it up. So we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's get started. This is going off to a great start. I've already skipped a step. There, all caught up. Okay, so the first problem you're gonna find when you're using my style of cooking is that you have to remember that you don't actually know how to cook. And so your very first ingredient that you're gonna use, and this is very important, water. Because you can't burn something if it's wet. I don't know if that's what she said joke is appropriate here, but I'm gonna use it anyway. That's what she said. All right, and here are the ingredients we're gonna be using. I don't have a camera stand that's gonna let me go hands-free with this, so we're just gonna do this the you suck at cooking way, maybe? Let's see. Cut. Take this one hander, bring her over here. Try not to cry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boom, intermission. And we're getting back to it. I just realized that was the only thing I had to cut. Sweet. So now asparagus break this off. I've had this before, it seems chewy. I don't know if it's good to eat or not. We're just gonna throw it out. Um, sometimes I break this in half again, but I think I want the full wham pajamas, so I'm gonna just... Oh, I almost dropped one. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, and then we're gonna think about it. Yeah, I think that was the right decision. All right, cool. Uh, next. B -b 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 broccoli. They tell me broccoli is really good for you. So I'm gonna put this in there. Mm. If someone would please say, Gus. Gus. You behave yourself. Someone would just say that's what she said in the comments, although I forgot what the joke was. Mm, is it good? Getting your vegetables, Gus? Can dogs eat vegetables? I don't think he's gonna eat them anyway. He's just playing with them. He's only a vacuum when it comes to potato chips. Here we got. Asparagus, which I'm told asparagus is good too. So we just work that right in there. You know what? Just use it all because it kind of like melts. Yeah. Cool. 
And finally, we got our mushrooms. Now these mushrooms have been sitting in my fridge for a long time, so I don't know if they're still good. They're kind of slimy, but we don't have any other source of protein, so we have to eat them. There we go. The alcohol in the wine should kill any of the bacteria in a bad mushroom, so I'm sure we'll be fine. After you put your mushrooms in, you really have to take into account how bad they are and just put yourself on a ledge for next time so that you don't have the option and just throw these guys away. And there we go. So we'll count it as like today's the last day we could use them where they're good. And that's what we'll tell ourselves to feel better. All right, intermission. It's important to note that we're about to do our toppings. So at this point, I think we're safe to go down here to the stove, down, 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 hit the old on. Hopefully it doesn't blow us up, there we go. And we cook on high because we know nothing else. Now, what do we want to add to our concoction as a topping that's gonna add flavor? Now, I'm really partial to, and I think this is important, what is my favorite flavor? Well, that's easy, it's ranch. But I once went to a restaurant where they had like spicy ranch and it was delicious. So we're gonna do some red hot too. And this is gonna be good. Actually, also, my mom once said turmeric Turmeric, which is the only piece of seasoning I own, so better be in here. Turmeric helps prevent cancer. And as you can't tell, we have our heart healthy. Now we got our anti-cancer concoction. Let's put it all together and see what we can make. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you here. I abused the hell out of my ranch. So I'm not going to be able to get a lot here in this concoction. Not nearly as much as I want to. And that's a real bummer. We're going to have to substitute the other ingredients. Come on, baby. Give me my ranch. Give me my ranch. Don't worry. Just get this all up there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and flavorful. Oh yeah. Lastly, the turmeric. Ooh, that came out fast. I'm not sure how much turmeric you use or what's good or bad. So we're just gonna use a lot call that safe. Boom. Cover up your turmeric. Cover up the whole thing. Your trusty, dusty way in the air pan. Actually, I like to put it this way. Yeah, good enough. And now we wait. It is important to note one thing at this time. And that's how you've been lying to yourself. And you can now accept the fact that you're actually allowed two and a half bottles of wine. And this really opens you up to flow and be more open with the cooking process. Remember to close cupboards. Got it. So yeah, now we wait. I'm gonna play some music, but copyright, infringement and all that. See you guys after. Rich white girls. Yeah. Get the ranch and all the other stuff down in there. Very important. Mix it all together. Man, I hope these shrimps don't make me sick. I think if I cook them, you can cook them and make them good again, right? 
bacteria can't survive in heat. So we're just gonna cook them. Here's the cool thing about stirring it. You stir it, it all gets put down. You grab your top, boom, and it fits better. And this lets some steam out. That's the thing. And there we have it. Mmm. Now someone likes it. Too bad, Gus is mine. We got special food for you. And now, the moment of truth. Mmm. Gus wants to go outside. Ooh, that's hot. Where's, where is it? Where is it? It's over here. Mmm. Okay. That mushroom tastes wow. I'm coming, Gus. Um, it's good. It's really good. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go let Gus out and beg hungry Howies, Howies for forgiveness for ever trying to go on my own. And that's cooking with bread. Thank you.